Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Ryder here, Consultant Audiologist and Director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in my latest demonstration video of our recently developed wax coat, which is due to be launched in early January 2023. If you haven't already and you are interested in the wax coat, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk and we should add you to our mailing list. We have a patient here, uh, it's a young child, um, nine years of age, and they have to attend every six or seven months or so to have their right ear cleared and they have this build up of very soft glutinous earwax and dead skin it, it can be a tricky consistency to remove for that reason because when it's soft and mushy like this it's very hard to get a suction grip and instead it blocks the inside of the suction probe so what i've just done here i've just instilled some uh, medical grade olive oil ear spray um, I actually uh, work with a company called Clear and they're, I'm their healthcare advisor um, so the brand that I use is called Clear uh, olive oil ear spray uh, you can see the link in the description if you are interested to purchase and so I've just installed some of that and it's just helped bind some of the wax together it makes it easier to remove I'm using our smallest speculum here our 3.5 millimeter but it being a child the ear canal is quite narrow and bendy um, and it, just using it to straighten and dilate the ear canal and I'm just going superiorly here just trying to release this wax plug from the roof of the ear canal and slowly but surely I'm now going to wriggle this out of the ear and of the entrance so before I do it again I'm just trying to, trying to loosen it slightly before I do that because I can feel there's some skin adhesions there that's holding the plug in place. Now I'm slowly just coming away with the suction probe. You have to come away. If you come away too quick with a sucker, you lose the suction grip. So when you're coming away, once you've got that suction grip, you don't want to lose that. So you just got to come away slowly with the suction probe. And as you are, just make little wriggle movements. And I've just brought this to the entrance. Now the entrance is completely um, narrowed and uh, and really, really um, collapsed. So the speculum really, really helps to open up and dilate the canal entrance, which is, I will need to be able to do that to remove this wax plug because now it's just stuck at the entrance. If I can't dilate the ear canal entrance, then this wax plug is not going anywhere. It's gonna be trapped in there. So we're right near the first bend. You can just see those hairs. And in a moment, I'm going to revert to the ear hook. I can't come away anymore with the suction probe now. So it's literally just visible at the entrance, just past the first bend. You can just see there to the left, uh, all those hairs. And that's a good indicator on the first bend. So once more, I've just dilated the entrance of the ear. I'm going to insert the St. Bart's ear hook. And then I'm going to just glide it at the roof, turn it clockwise 90 degrees, embed the tip of the hook into the wax plug and slowly bring it out and there we are. And I'm just going to go back into the ear and you're going to see the eardrum's going to get it in focused. So it's a bit of vascularis there, a bit of inflammation is going to get it in focus again in a moment. But otherwise it's nice and healthy. There's some, I think the wax plug was attached to the eardrum as well, probably some skin attachments just there posteriorly, you can see some skin. That was probably attached to the wax and as we brought it away it's separated from the eardrum and as for that reason the eardrum just becomes slightly vascularis but it's fine that's the size of the wax plug this isn't a young child remember so it's quite a significant haul of wax there um, and i've got the ear hook beside of it this is the opposite angle so this is when i first removed the, the wax plug from the ear hook whilst the ear hook still embedded into the core of the wax and then this is a, a more of a um, zoomed out image so it gives you some better perspective well i hope you enjoyed that uh, wishing you all a very very merry christmas and a happy new year and again if you are interested in the waxgate please do email info at clearwax.co.uk thank you bye